Thursday, May 6th, and it is one of my favorite days of Stand Tall um, because we are doing the uh, the Thursday three strategies of Huang Shigong. And uh, this is one of my favorite texts uh, that we've been working through. Uh, one of the shorter ones for sure. We're on upper strategies, verse 11. The commanders in chief must develop the same tastes as the officers and common troops and thus confront safety and danger together. Only then can the enemy be punished. So before I continue, this is a really interesting take on it because we know from personal experience when either something's not safe, it's just not getting done, and it seems like the upper management never cares, or if they do care, they don't really know quite what to do because they're not there on the front lines. They're not developing the same tastes as the officers and troops, right, and thus confront safety and danger together, right? So these things... These are important. <clears throat> the enemy can only be punished then. So the, the, the task can only be conquered when the leaders and the workers are working in tandem. This is how troops gain absolute victories and enemies completely succumb to your plans. One example of a good commander comes from former times. The general was presented with a case of good wine. He had it poured into the river and allowed it to flow along its course. From the river, he drank the wine along with the officers and the troops. One case of wine cannot be tasted amidst the water of the whole river. However, the officers of the three armies all fought until death since the wine's flavor had reached them personally. So they're not even going to be getting drunk, but everyone took part in it. Kind of like communion. So let's dive over now. To how to Win, How to Win Friends and Influence People, How to Win, by Dale Carnegie, on to Chapter 6, Part 3, The Safety Valve in Handling Complaints. So this is a big one. If you're running a company or an LLC or anything where, you know, you get either complaints or reviews, this might be a chapter to dive into. The principle at the end of the chapter is let the other person do a great deal of the talking. This is one way to handle complaints. But, I will say, right from the same perspective of the three strategies, being on the same level, the same taste as the officers and the common troops, if you're letting the other person talk more, you're learning more about their, their taste, what makes them tick, etc. And so these things can be used, right? And we all know if you haven't tried from personal experience, if you're trying to convince someone of anything, maybe just pause 